The power dies at the exact moment you're mid-scroll, mid-bite, or mid-I'll-do-it-later, and suddenly the temperature drops like the planet just remembered it's actually a giant ball of frozen hostility. Within minutes, your house stops being a home and becomes a refrigerator with tax documents. Your breath fox, your fingers stiffen, your pet looks at you like, well, fix it. Welcome to the winter blackout. With a cold doesn't just not politely, it kicks the door in and starts cleaning territory like a frosty warlord. But you? You're about to learn how to outsmart the cold itself. And trust me, the cold is not used to losing. Rule 1. Shrink your world before the cold shrinks you. Heat isn't warmth, it's currency, and you're dirt poor. Your first job is to stop the bleeding. Seal off one room. Not the big living room you always meant to insulate, but the smallest, most manageable room. Blankets, up. Towels, jammed under doors. Drafts, slapped into submission. You aren't trying to warm your house. Your house is enormous and ungrateful. You're trying to warm a small box where you can continue existing. Rule 2. Dress like a confused marshmallow. Layers are no longer cozy, layers are survival math. Start with anything that keeps sweat off your skin. Wet fabric loves stealing heat like it's collecting rent. Then add insulation. Fleece, wool, newspaper stuffed into your jacket, bags of packing peanuts, no shame now. Finally, a wind-blocking outer layer. A raincoat, a tarp, or a garbage bag tied with the confidence of someone who refuses to freeze. If you look ridiculous, great! The cold hates ridiculous people. It can catch you if you refuse to let fashion distract you from staying alive. Rule 3. Fire helps until it tries to kill you. Everyone thinks fire is the hero, but misuse it and you'll be warm for about three minutes before you permanently stop caring about warmth. Candles and flames need oxygen. Your lungs need oxygen. Fire wants more than you do. If you're creating heat, you need airflow. Not a lot, just enough to avoid carbon monoxide turning you into a sleepy statistic. Better method? The hot water trick. Boil water. Pour into sturdy bottles. Wrap in cloth. Keep near your core or your feet. It's like having a pet that radiates warmth without shedding. And when it cools, you drink it, multitasking for the win. Rule 4. Food is fuel, not entertainment. Cold weather turns your metabolism into a frantic accountant, burning calories like documents during an audit. You need food that requires minimal energy to prepare, has high calories, and doesn't freeze into a brick you can use as a doorstop. Peanut butter, chocolate, instant noodles, canned stews, everything you'd take on a miserable camping trip. Shivering is your body's inbuilt furnace, but that furnace demands fuel like it's unionized. Rule 5. Water, the silent assassin. Cold shuts down water systems faster than panic shuts down your common sense. If the pipes freeze, the taps become decorative. If your water source freezes, it becomes an emotional support ice block. Melt snow if you must, but never eat snow. Eating snow drops your core temperature and your dignity simultaneously. Melt first, boil second. Even snow has mysteries you don't want to swallow. Rule 6. Move just enough, not too much. Moving warms you. Sweating ruins you. It's a delicate dance of survival aerobics. Do small exercises. Stretch. March in place. Wiggle aggressively. If you're with someone else, share blankets. If you're alone, curl into a compact human dumpling. Heat stays where body parts touch. Evolution did you a favor, use it. Rule 7. Light keeps you alive, darkness tries to ruin everything. You think you know your house, try navigating it at 2 a.m. in darkness while half frozen. One misstep and you're on the floor re-evaluating life choices while a chair mocks you quietly. Use flashlights sparingly. Use solar lights charged in the day if you have them. Use anything that won't burn your house down. Darkness hides hazards. Light exposes them. And you can't survive a winter blackout with a broken leg and a bruised ego. Final lesson. 
You're not fighting the cold. You're outsmarting it. Winter blackouts turn comfort into chaos, but survival is just physics with a side of stubbornness. Shrink your space, insulate everything, eat like staying warm is a sport, move smart, hydrate, stay alert. The cold wants you frozen, quiet, and very much inconvenient to the apocalypse, because freezing to death is not on your to-do list today.